Hi, hi, welcome to Gaurav. So in this episode of the Lead Code series, we are going to solve the question of check if n and its double exist. So like how an actor has its double, we have to check whether the number has a double of it. Okay. So we are given an array of integers and we have to check if there exist two distinct integers i and j. That means i is not equal to j and the indices are between 0 and array dot length. So it doesn't matter. Okay. And the given array has its double. So array of i is equal to 2 times array of j. Okay. So essentially the gist of it is we are given an array. For each number we have to check whether double of that number exists. So why does this condition of i not equal to j exist? Because when is a number and twice of its number same only when the number is 0. So if the number is 0 when we multiply 2 times 0 we will get 0. But we need two zeros to conclude that the number and its double exist. With this one zero we can't say the number and its double also exist because we just have one zero not two zeros right. So that is when this i not equal to j condition comes into play. So that is a very important or intricate detail that we have to notice when solving this question. Okay, let's as usual move on to an example and try to understand the logic behind it and develop an algorithm. Later, we'll move to lead code and solve this question. So with this array given to us, we'll create a hash map and store all these values and their respect to indices as key value pair. So the number itself will be the key and the index of that number will be the value. So 10, 0, 2, 1, 5, 2 and 3, 3. So these are the hash map and their respective key value pairs stored. Using this hash map, we are going to traverse this array again and check whether the double of that number exists. So let's start with the first number 10. So whether 2 times i that is in this case 2 times 10, 20 exists in the hash map. Does 20 exist? No, there is no 20. So, we will move on to the next number. 2. 2 into 2 is 4. So, does 4 exist in the hash map? No, we do not have a 4. Now, let's move on to the next number. 5. So, 5 into 2 is 10. Does 10 exist in the hash map? Yeah, we do have a 10 and its index is 0. So, what do we do? We say that a double exists and hence it exists. Thumbs up. Okay. So, with this, our function comes to an end. Because we have found a double and we have written true. So that is what we need to check whether the double of any number exists. Here with exist, hence we return true. If after traversing all these numbers we say there is no double, in that case we will return false. So we will move on to the algorithm here. So first, what do we do? The procedure was to first create a hash map. So the first procedure was to create a hash map containing all these elements that are present in the array along with their indices right so that was the first step the second step was to loop through or traverse through this list again okay so after traversing through this list for each and every number what do we check we check whether two times that number exists in the hash map if it exists also check whether the indices are not the same because as we saw in zero the number and two times that number is same so we have to check whether the index of both of these numbers are different. So i and 2i should have different indices okay, and return true. In outside the loop, after checking all these conditions for all these pairs, if we did not find a pair and its double, then it means there is no pair which contains a number and its double, hence we would return false. So this becomes the core logic of this question. Now let's move to lead code and solve this question. So here we have the function check if exist. So this condition takes the array as input as we saw and returns a boolean whether the number and its double exist. So similarly we are going to check whether you have subscribed to Godaibu. If you are not please subscribe. So moving on here we have the function. Now let's get started by creating a hash map that becomes our first step. So hash map it's going to store integer in both its key and its value so hence integer comma integer the name of it let's have it just map is equal to new hash map of okay now 
what do we do next? We traverse this array and store all these elements along with their index inside the hash map. So for int i is equal to 0, i less than arr dot length i plus plus. Now what do we do? We store all these values into the hash map. So map dot put of key comma value. So key here is the array of i, the element itself. The value here is the index. The index is represented by i and hence array of i comma i is the key value pair. Now after this we again traverse this loop. So I copy this for loop again here. We are again traversing this array again and this time we are going to check whether two times the given number exists. So if the number two times array of i does this exist? How do we check whether does this exist? For that we have a function called contains key of Okay, so this function map dot contains key of this function is going to check whether the given number here is present in the hash map or not. So it's going to return as true or false. So if it is true, we also have to check one another condition, which is whether the index of this number array of i and the index of two times array of i are different. Because as we saw in the case of zero, we have to check that in order to eliminate the possibility of taking the same number for i and also for 2i okay so i must not be equal to map dot get of 2 times array of i okay so map dot get of gets us the value of the respective key value pair and that stores the indexes as we saw here so i should not be equal to map dot get of 2 times array of i 2 times array of i is the other number or it's double. So the index of double that is map dot get of i should not be equal to i. So that is our second condition. This is being checked only for the case or the edge case of 0. Okay. For the other cases, this condition would give us the right answer. For the edge case of 0, this condition is there. Okay. Now, if it is true, what do we do? We just return true because we have found a pair which has the number and it's double. But what if we run this for loop again and again, but we didn't find a pair, we'll come out of this for loop. In that case, we return false, saying that the number and it's double does not exist in the same array that is given to us as input. So this is going to be our code. Now let's run this code and verify for all any syntax errors. So this runs for the sample test case, which is two test cases, and we have passed that. Let's right, submit the code and verify it for all the other risk cases. Yeah, congratulations, you have successfully solved the question of check if VN and its double exist. So, if you love this video, please drop a like and comment below if you have any queries and don't forget to click the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next episode of Lead Code. Until then, bye-bye.